What's going on everybody? We are here in downtown Las Vegas at the Mob Museum. The National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement. Located downtown Las Vegas, right here next to Fremont Street at the corner of Stewart Avenue and 3rd Street. Established on February 12th, 2012. In 2000, the federal building and the former post office here sold this building to the city of Las Vegas for one dollar, including fifty million dollar project and additional twenty six million dollars to restore the building. Testimony and legal evidence. We don't know how it got out there. 
but he agreed. So here in the basement of the Mob Museum, Thursday through Saturday, at the top of the hour, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., you get a free shot of moonshine. They just steal their own moonshine. For the big bottle there, it is $21. Mob Museum's personal moonshine. Well, I really enjoy it. I've been at the museum a long time. I think I kind of want to show the difference. I think, you know, just about everything here. So, they let me be a part of this. Yeah, I'm learning from the guy that told you the links. This is the story down here. He's kind of schooling us and teaching us. For the first time, law enforcement was able to prosecute individuals simply for being members of ongoing criminal organizations. Thank you. 
Mafia commission trial the 11 monsters. He will be the heads of New York's five families who are indicted by U.S. Attorney Rudy Giuliani using the record. You like it? In January of 2004, the FBI conducted its biggest bust. 24 hours. We would photograph them, film them. We had surveillance laws showing them to be at certain places at certain times when this crime was being committed. It was great material for the prosecution. Frank Rosenthal's reign mainly came from the slot machine. The coins were not counted in any way. What they did was miscalibrate those scales so that they would underreport the actual weight. So if the scale said thousand pounds of coins. You had contacts in the CIA hacking into organized crime. The plan was hatched, part of a larger project called Operation Mars, in which may have enlisted the help of Chicago outfit members John Russell and Sam Jim Hill. They were to assassinate Fidel Castro. Castro's head of security then estimated that there were 638 self-assassination attempts on El Comandante Islam. One of the most speculative areas of all is the mob's involvement in the assassination There is no proof, but we know there was design. While Attorney General Roger Harris is leading the unprecedented crusade against organized
Thank you. Take care. All right, you guys. Thank you. 
Hope you enjoyed yourself. Right? Okay. Have a great day. Thank you soon. You have to connect up Lee Harvey Oswald to the mob. Can you do that? The answer is yes. Turns out a man named David Ferry knew Lee Harvey Oswald from a Civil Aeronautics Patrol. And David Ferry was one of the private investigators working for Carlos Marcello. You have direct link between the head of the mob in New Orleans, Carlos Marcello, and the shooter of the president. Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald had a surrogate father, a man named Dutz Moran. Who was Dutz? He is a bookmaker, Carlos Marcel. I'm seeing pieces in a puzzle that are connected. Before you put the last piece in, the picture.
February 14, 1929. Moran's men were invaded to a warehouse and needed part of a hijacked truckload of whiskey. When they arrived, they were met by a group of men dressed as police officers. Thinking they were about to be arrested, seven men did not protest. Then, two or three men in plain clothes walked in. They pulled Tommy guns out from under their coat, pointed them at the men lined up against the brick wall, and opened fire. FBI's current top 10 most wanted fugitives. Alright, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. They do unfortunately have a very strict policy inside of no videotaping, so luckily I was able to get a lot of the footage I was. Um, but it's a very fun exhibit, three levels. This was built in 1933 at the time in Las Vegas. It was the highest building here in Vegas. They have all kinds of artifacts, exhibits, hands-on experience, interactive scenarios. The current price as of 2018 is $26.95 for adults. Nevada residents get a $10 discount, so $16.95. They have a gift shop. Very, very lots of historical items, really, really tons of information. This video also goes out to a good, very good friend of mine, Richard and his lovely wife, Katie Torres, out in the Bay Area. They got married last year in Disneyland, and on November 9th, they're expecting their very first child. So, take care, guys. I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, that would mean so much to me, and more would be subscribe much more videos to come. This is Vegas Wonderland. See you in the next video.